I remember doing Don't Mug Yourself on Top of the Pops and being so off my face that it was virtually an out of body experience. That kind of car crash thing where you go to see Pete Doherty in the expectation he might perhaps get electrocuted is definitely something that we cherish in our culture. And it was always important to me to leave open the possibility that when I went out on stage, everything just might go completely tits up. What people want, or what they say they want, is something where they can genuinely feel this only happened in Liverpool. Manchester didn't get it. Obviously there are risks attached, but I still feel both sides of the human equation. Even if it goes horribly wrong, I still think it's way better than that grimly ritualised good evening Liverpool kind of thing. I've seen a lot of bands who don't just play the same set every night, they also say the same things between songs. And in that context I stand by the proposition that getting fucked up is honest. <laughs>